Hi, my name is Cameron Smith. I'm the Director of Military Programs here at Intellectual Point. Today, I'll be walking you through how to submit an Army Credentialing Assistance request. This process can take multiple days, so this video will be marked as a part one and part two. Please watch the video thoroughly as I will cover every step in submitting your request. We will start by heading to the Army Ignited website, linked down in the description below. You will click OK and then log in with EAMS login. On the next page, select PKI login and log in using your CAT card. Here, you will go to the left side of your screen, click Education Goals. Now navigate to the top right and create new goal. On this page, you will notice some of them are marked as not eligible. Don't worry, I will show you how to get around this. Once you've clicked on MOS related or non-related, a drop down window should appear. Near the end, it should say, please click here to access Milgears. You will click the word here. If this error doesn't show up for you, please sit tight while we go through this process and we'll pick up with you once we're completed. Once you click it, it'll redirect you to the Milgears portion. Click the yellow buttons, follow the prompts and go to tools at the top right and then engage my career. Scroll down and click next. Army and then next. And you'll be able to skip a few of these if they don't apply by clicking next at the bottom on this page enter your information and then click next throughout these check if they apply if not simply click next on this one you'll need to add your current position including your mos pay grade uic if you know it and your arrival date and then click next 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 until you land on this page you will click the blue button to download your LER. This is the document we need to upload into Army Ignited to get around this error. So we'll go back to Army Ignited under the Mill Gears tab and create new plan. You'll click on choose file and then locate the LER you just downloaded. Once you've located it, simply click open to upload it and you will title it Mill Gears LER and click the yellow submit plan button. Now that we have our Mill Gears career plan done, we're going to go back to education goals on the left side of your screen. Create new goal at the top right. And then based on your MOS, either MOS related or non related. This is just a search filter that will change what certifications you see. So if the one you're looking for doesn't show up, try switching that. Right now we're going to do CompTIA Security Plus in this demo. Select goal. Yes. Click continue and now go back to education goals. You'll see it's grayed out to apply for funding. There's two errors. Click the word here on the second prompt to access training. Scroll through and review the terms and conditions and sign and complete training. Now go back to education goals and there should be one more error. Here, we're gonna take this link. You're going to copy it and paste it into a new browser and click where it says view the CA 101 training video. Watch this video. It is about 26 minutes long. After completing it, you'll click the yellow contact an army CA counselor button at the top right. And now you're going to enter your full name, your dot mil email and a message letting them know you have completed your mill gears career plan in army ignited 101 training and would like to apply for funding. Now you'll then click submit. Get confirmation that your message was sent and now you should wait anywhere from 24 to 48 hours for them to get back to you after waiting 24 to 48 hours we're going to log back in and navigate to our education goals on the left side of our screen again once there the apply for funding button should be yellow we're going to start by clicking apply for funding validate your information check the boxes after reviewing them and submit. Now you're most likely not from a deployed location. Your vendor is Intellectual Point, main campus. Your start date will be 45 days from today's date and your end date will be six months later. This is in the event you have a deployment, field rotation or something out of your control and we need to move you to a later class. This way we do not have to modify your funding requests. So remember 45 days from today's date and your end date is six months later. Now we're gonna click add training, select security plus, add training, next. 
and now you will upload the price quote you received from your intellectual point representative. Please make sure you upload the appropriate price quote. Now finished. You've completed one funding request. We're going to go back to education goals on the left, apply for funding again, verify and proceed, check the boxes again after reviewing them. And then I agree and continue at the bottom. Again, most likely not deployed. Vendor is intellectual point. Main campus. And then again, start date 45 days from today. End date six months later. Now on this time, we're going to do exam. Select exam. Location will be other. Cost. If it does not let you type the cost in, no worries. If it does, type exactly what is on the price code we provided and then click add exam. If it didn't let you type a price, you will click add fee, make an administrative fee of the cost of the exam, entitle it SEC plus exam fee, add fee, next, and then upload your exam price quote. Again, please make sure you are uploading the appropriate price quote on each. Now, it should bring you back to your funding request page. Please take a screenshot of this page and send it to your intellectual point representative. We can review it and make sure you've completed your funding requests right. Once we receive your funding request, we'll review it and get back to you letting you know if any corrections are needed. At this point, you're just waiting for the Army to process payment and we will reach out to you with an enrollment email to secure your seat in class. Thank you for sticking out through this video. And of course, if you have any questions, get stuck, or have questions in general about Intellectual Point, the certifications and services we provide, feel free to contact myself or anyone at Intellectual Point. Thank you for following along and we look forward to seeing you in class.